What's up motocross action? Welcome to another episode of Shaken Not Stirred. Today we have Twisted Development's 2005 Honda CR125 two-stroke. <laughs> When we have Twisted Development in the title of a story, you automatically expect a full-fledged, high-dollar race bike. Twisted Development is known for privateer power that can run with the factory bikes. If you want to race against factory teams, Twisted Development is the go-to race shop. However, this test of a Twisted Built machine is a little different. We never thought of Twisted Development's Jamie Ellis as being sentimental about the bikes he builds, but this bike was on the nostalgic side for this high-level engine performance company. We get it though, the MXA Wrecking Crew is head over heels in love with old smokers, so we couldn't resist riding Twisted Development's 2005 Honda CR125. At the time, Jamie was working for Bobby Hewitt, who was the owner of the Rockstar Suzuki race team, and the team's parks coordinator, Brian Burke, was from Binghamton, New York. Every year for the Unadilla National, the team would stay in Binghamton for the week to rebuild their race bikes and check out the local sites. In 2011, Brian asked if he could bring his beat up 2005 Honda CR125 and the Rock star semi to get it back to California. At the time, he planned to rebuild it in the off-season. They didn't have a lot of room in the truck, so they tore down the CR125 and put it into trash cans so it would fit in the upper level of the truck. That way it would be easier to move around until the Nationals were over. When the team got back to the race shop, the whole Rockstar Suzuki crew helped put the CR125 back together because they couldn't stand to see their mechanically challenged friend struggle to work on the bike. At this point, the story fast forwards to 2015 when the Rockstar Suzuki team turned into the Rockstar Husqvarna team and moved from their Corona California race shop 40 miles south to Husqvarna's headquarters in Marietta, California. It also just so happens that the Rockstar Husky headquarters are now next door to the Twisted Development race shop. During the move, that it wouldn't be a good idea to have the Honda in the factory Husqvarna race shop. So Brian's CR125 was moved to a dark corner of Jamie's personal garage where it would sit until 2020. Over the next five years, Jamie got tired of storing Brian's junky old CR125 and finally told him, either come pick it up or he's gonna fix it up for his kid to ride. Even though his son was only six years old, he had a vision for his son to ride it a decade from now when he became old enough. Jamie told Brian that if he ever wanted to ride his bike, he could come by and pick it up at any time he wanted, and Brian was on board with it. <laughs> The CR125 is a great transition bike, and 10 years from now, this bike will have aged even more into two-stroke history. With that vision, Jamie took the old CR125 into the Twisted Development shop and put some TLC into it. After a scavenger hunt of finding parts, the build finally came together. Jamie made simple modifications to the CR125 to keep it reliable and manageable for his kid when it eventually grows into it. They ported the cylinder and decked the head to get the squish where it needed to be. They added FMF bolt-on power with the pipe and silencer, which was run with V. PMRX02 race fuel. Factory connection hooked up the suspension and Tusk provided a wheel set with Dunlop MX33 tires. They also used a low Super Sprox gearing at a 1352 ratio to get the little bore 125 up and moving. And to find the number, Jamie's son picked out the number 40. We liked the backstory of Brian Burke's Honda CR125, and when Jamie asked if we'd like to test it, we jumped at the chance. Unfortunately, the first time we rode it, we seized the ring on lap three, and we felt bad about blowing up a bike that Jamie had pushed around for many years waiting for the day when it was finally ridden again. Being the nice guys that we are, we put all the blame on our test rider and pushed the CR125 project off to the side. Jamie vowed to get the bike running again, but it wasn't until things began to normalize from the coronavirus pandemic that MXA and Jamie had a window of opportunity to meet again and put the old dog through its paces. Our second attempt was, for the most part, a success. The CR125 looked like a new age machine with its polysport restyled kit, new tires, and shiny graphics. But on the track, the engine felt like a decade old machine. However, that wasn't a bad thing. 
because it was actually a decade and a half old machine. We never thought that a 15 year old Honda Sierra 125 was going to run with the 40 horsepower wonders of 125s today because this was a project of love for a young kid to learn on and enjoy. The engine was incredibly fun. It didn't offer much bottom, but the mid to top power held its own. We did some small fuel and jetting changes to get the bike running cleaner, and after that, our testers had an absolute ball on it. The factory connection suspension valving and Honda chassis allowed the bike to handle like a champ. The light chassis allowed testers to put the front wheel anywhere they wanted with ease. The CR125 also allowed riders to recover from mistakes fast, but in truth, it was hard to make mistakes on a bike that had better handling than engine performance. The MXA testers didn't want to stop riding this build for three reasons. One, it was incredibly fun to ride. Two, once we shut it off, it was going back into the storage locker for another 10 years. And three, we could ride it through a tank of gas without getting tired. This bike is perfect for its intended purpose, which is to bring safety and a smile to a kid who loves riding. <laughs> To learn more about this 2005 Honda CR125 and to check out more of what the MXA Wrecking Crew has been testing, look for a future issue of Motocross Action Magazine. And also to stay up to date with the latest news, reviews, race results, product tests, and more, check out motocrossactionmag.com. And wait, before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube to stay up to date with our latest video uploads. And if you guys